Hello, hello, hello. Today is March 17, 2021. That doesn't mean that I will post this video on March 17, but that is today, March 17. Solutions to problem 105. Rainbows in my shower. For those who have my book for the love of physics, I discuss this, of course, in my book. So many of you have the correct answer because they have my book. And many of you may also have the correct answer without my book, but most of you do not have the correct answer. I would urge you to watch one of my five lectures all on my channel about rainbows. You will then learn that the rainbow is a circle around the anti-solar point. And the anti-solar point is the following. You draw a line from the sun, which must always be behind you. The rainbow is always opposite the sun. So you draw a line from the sun, which is behind you, to your head, and you continue that until it hits the ground. That is what we call the anti-solar point. So if the sun is above the horizon, that point is always below the horizon. That's obvious. The red of the primary bow is at an angle of about 42, maybe 42 and a half degrees from that point. The blue is a smaller radius, about 40.7, I think. The width of the bow is about 1.7 degrees. Now, the red is always on the outside and the blue is on the inside. We call that the primary bow. It's a bright bow. If you see one rainbow in the sky, that's the one. Under ideal conditions, you often see a secondary bow. It's about 10 degrees, the radius is roughly 10 degrees larger than the primary bow. It's much fainter, and the blue is on the outside and the red is on the inside. Suppose you are looking at the rainbow, and it's raining about a kilometer away from you, and a friend of you is standing 10 meters away from you. You are looking, let's say the sun is in the east in the morning, so the rainbow is in the west, and suppose your friend in the direction from you to the north is about 10 meters away from you. So his anti-solar point 10 meters different from yours. So his rainbow is a circle about that point, about his anti-solar point. And therefore, if the rain is, if it's raining a kilometer, one kilometer away from you, it should be easy to see that the rainbow that you see projected against maybe a church in the background and the rainbow that your friend will see also in the direction of that church that the two are separated from each other by about 0.6 degrees. Now, Of course, you don't even realize that, that he is seeing a somewhat different bow than you do.
in my shower. I have two eyes. Each one has its own anti-solar point, which is different not by 10 meters, as it was in the case of your friend, but it's different by about 6 centimeters, which is the separation between my eyes. So my left eye will see an arc, a circle, around its anti-solar point, and my right eye will see a an arc, colored arc, about its anti-solar point. And those anti-solar points are about six centimeters apart. If the water in your shower is about 30 centimeters away from you, that angular distance is 12 degrees. That's huge. And so you will see two rainbows. They really offset. One you may see like this, and then the other one you may see like this. This would be my right eye, this would be my left eye. If I close my left eye, I will only see this one. If I close my right eye, I will only see this one. My camera has only one eye. So, if I hold my camera here, it would see the same bow as my right eye. If I hold the camera here, it would see the same bow of my left eye. But if I held the camera all the way here, it would see, again, only one bow, but it wouldn't see the one that I see here, nor the one that I see here, but it would still see one bow. How do I know that the bow, to both bows are primaries? That's obvious, because in, they are about the same brightness, and in both cases, the red is on the outside. And that must be a primary. Okay, so that's the solution to problem 105. The solution has nothing to do with polarization. It has nothing to do with reflection. It has nothing to do with the primary and the secondary bow. Both are primary bows. And the reason why I see two bows is that I have two eyes and I'm very close to the water. Okay? So it was easier than you thought it was. If you had bought my book, you would have known. <laughs> but that's not a reason to buy my book. So have a nice day and take care. And of course, whether your answer is right or whether your answer is wrong, we would still be friends. That is always a given.